Welcome to the channel, human. Click that subscribe button. It is always nice to talk about a legend, especially a legend that you love and appreciate like Eddie Murphy. You can't even talk about stuff that's funny. You can't even talk about comedy without bringing up Eddie Murphy. Even if you don't like the guy, even if you're not a fan of him, you got to give him his flowers and his respect. This man is awesome. I've been a fan of Eddie Murphy since I was a kid. But this video is about how Eddie Murphy turned down one of the best movies ever made. At the time, when you're talking about in the 80s, Eddie Murphy was like a grade A actor. One of the biggest stars in the world. And he came up quick because the man has a lot of talent. And him and Dan Aykroyd are friends, or at least they were, you know, at that moment in time. And Dan Aykroyd wanted uh, Eddie Murphy to play the character of Winston. And, you know, Eddie Murphy turned it down. And then that went to the actor Ernie Hudson, who's also a talented man in his own right. And Eddie Murphy turned down the role of Winston in Ghostbusters so he can do Beverly Hills Cop. Now, Beverly Hills Cop, I think, is also one of the best movies ever made. Classic, iconic. You know that. You know, y'all know what's up. But that's crazy. And, uh, you know, Eddie Murphy said recently that he wished he could have done both, you know, do Ghostbusters and Beverly Hills Cop. But he thought that the better decision was to go with Beverly Hills Cop. And he wasn't wrong in that sense because Beverly Hills Cop is what he's known for, Eddie Murphy, among a lot of things. I mean, the man has done so much in films. And then, of course, he's one of the best stand-up comedians of all time. But a lot of humans, when they think about Eddie Murphy, you'll hear a lot of the Beverly Hills Cop because he killed it in that role. It's Axel Foley, I believe his character's name is, if I'm not mistaken, in those Beverly Hills uh, Cops movies, right? Because there's three of them. And then a fourth one is coming out, to my understanding. Now, I didn't like the third movie that much. It has some moments, but it's not as good as one and two. So hopefully the fourth movie can be better than the third movie. And I believe that is possible. You should never count Eddie Murphy out because he is one of the most talented individuals that Hollywood has ever seen. But that is interesting that this man could have been in Ghostbusters alongside the greats. You know what I mean? Like, that's just crazy to think about. Terrence out.